Hi, this is Gabe Romero with ProAct. We're here on one of the busiest shipping nights in the Salinas Valley. I mean, it's one of the loudest nights here, and I'm here with Marcus Schabel, Taylor Farms, and we're here to give you a little insight about what's going on with trucks. So tonight is Monday night, right before Mother's Day, one of our biggest shipping nights of the year. All these trucks are coming in to this lot to check in uh, so that they can get loaded and on the road by tomorrow. Give me a little idea of what it takes for a truck to come in. What is, what is the process? So the, the process is about 200 to 250 trucks will come in a night. They'll check in on our, on our check-in line. They'll call the shipping office, confirm their sales number. If they have an appointment or if they're first come first serve, they'll get on a list so they can, they can load as quickly as possible. So tell me a little bit about appointment schedules, production, and how everything gets coordinated. So what we do is we put everything daily on a master production schedule. That production schedule is linked up with the trucks coming in and what our inventories look like. So throughout the day, we'll make changes if necessary just to make sure we have product ready for when the trucks show up. So that can, can that be difficult at times when products coming from, I mean, the timing's gotta be really, really critical, right? So what we'll try to do there is we'll try to have uh, backup inventories just in case because a lot of customers place same day orders. And so we're really looking and averages and our trends to try to marry those the shipping with production. We've been a partner with Taylor Farms for quite some time now. Tell me about some of the challenges we've been able to overcome. Well, over time, both your business and our business have gotten more complex. As you can see, there's a lot going on right now. So the good thing about ProAct and Taylor Farms is we're on 100% appointment time, which has really helped in our production planning and scheduling system. Now we're here in front of the production facility and the loading facility here at Taylor Farms. Tell me a little bit about what's going on right now. So right now, all these trucks are backed in, their orders are being built, and they're gonna be actively loaded, and hopefully out of here within the next hour. So when a loader gets a loading manifest, when it comes to their orders and the truck backs in, tell me the process of what goes on. He'll grab his order, he'll go to where the products that are on that order are all slotted in our warehouse, and he'll start building it from scratch. So does he build the pick pallets first and then loads the full pallets last? Typically, year? yes. So the pick pallets are a little bit more complicated, requiring a little bit more time. He'll build those, then he'll move on to the full pallet quantities. Obviously, order accuracy is extremely important to Taylor Farms. Give me a little bit about the truck quality aspect of it when you're checking the truck before you load it. So besides accuracy and timeliness, we really are concerned with food safety. We actually have full-time dog QCs who inspect trailers. They're looking for problems with temperature, broken uh, chutes, uh, dirty trailers. If something were to happen, we can send their driver away to take care of it and then come back. We will re-inspect the trailer and then load them. Just over the past couple of years, you've had a new warehouse management system. How's that made your efficiencies? It's really helped us design our warehouse layout so that uh, more convenient products are in the right spots, closer to doors, and it really helps us slot and find the smaller uh, specialty items. So on a busy night like tonight, what's Taylor Farms' goal as far as loading trucks? So as you know, Gabe, our main goal is freshness. All the products that are going on trucks tonight was cut, cooled, processed and put on a truck all within one day and that's really about getting the, the product all the way across the country in many cases as soon as possible. Marcus, thank you very much for time again. No worries. And like before, please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns and we'll see you next time.